We began with a special homecoming for a Dade County deputy severely injured in the line of duty. Moments ago, Major Tommy Bradford returned home to Trenton and was greeted by the community that has supported him throughout his recovery. Bradford lost his leg when he was hit by a speeding truck while setting up spike strips earlier this month. Since then, he's been recovering and undergoing physical therapy. We have live team coverage this afternoon, and Brittany Martin will join us live from Trenton, where that special homecoming just happened. And we start with Aaron Farrar live at Siskin, where Bradford was released this morning. Good morning or good afternoon to you, Aaron. Hi, good morning, Greg. Yes, Major Bradford came right out of those doors in a wheelchair shortly after 10 o'clock this morning. The look on his face and the faces of his family was priceless. With his family by his side, Major Tommy Bradford is heading home. We're so excited to go to be home, to be in our house with our kids all together again. We're just so excited. Major Bradford's wife, Mary Ann, has been with him throughout his entire time in the hospital and rehabilitation at Siskin. She knew he would not give up. I always knew he was a strong man, but just the willpower that he's had to do the um, rehabilitation, the physical therapy. He's not stopped. He's not slowed down. Major Bradford was seriously injured during a high speed police chase earlier this month. Investigators say the suspect ran Bradford over, causing him to lose his leg. After learning of his injuries, the Dade County community kept the Bradford family's spirits high. The love, the, the support, the constant prayers, we felt it. And now Major Bradford is returning to a place he's very familiar with. Just cannot wait to get back. Can't wait to see the Trent exit. <laughs> Next stop, home. Major Bradford also penned a letter late last week saying that he plans to continue rehabilitation and also plans to return to Dade County to serve the county as well. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Aaron Farrar, News Channel 9. Aaron, thanks so much. And after leaving Siskin, Major Bradford made his way to Trenton, Georgia, to that special homecoming from the entire community. Brittany Martin joins us live and shows us the warm welcome he received. Brittany. Greg, yeah, Major Bradford was just in the school parking lot about 30 minutes ago. Here's what it looked like as Bradford made his way through Dade County Middle School. He stopped by every school on his way back into town. Students, staff and teachers cheered him on as Bradford waved back at them. One teacher here told me she has been moved by all of the support for Major Bradford since his accident. There was something about knowing who he is, where he's come from, and his dedication to his community and his love for Christ that we knew that he was going to pull through. And his family is so amazing, and we're just glad that he's coming home today. Just stepped out of the school here. I spoke with some students about what they've learned from Major Bradford and what he's been through. Hear from them coming up today on News Channel 9 at 5. For now, reporting live in Dade County, Brittany Martin, News Channel 9. All right, Brittany, thanks so much. So exciting to see him. And his family back home. And also investigators say Laura Leanne Wooten was behind the wheel of the truck that hit Major Bradford. She faces 21 charges right now. They include aggravated assault against a police officer, felony fleeing or attempting to elude and DUI. According to Dade County Criminal Court, there is still no court date set for her.